If you've been recording or arranging in Logic Pro for any amount of time, you know that there are times where you'll need to change your region length. And while you can repeat regions, there's now a new way to speed up your arranging workflow. I'm the Oreo Monster and you're watching Logic.Band. Visit Logic.Band to sign up for the mailing list right there on the homepage and you will get a free Getting Started with Logic course. Also, you can now become a member of Logic Band and get exclusive tutorials not available on YouTube, have a live Q&A with me, and get a discount on the hourly rates if you want to get some one-on-one -on -one training. Visit logic.band slash member to find out more. All right, so I'm in a project here in Logic. This is kind of my standard affair for if I'm just starting to write or record or arrange an idea. And it's got a drummer track. And by default, when you bring a drummer track into the project, you're going to have an eight bar region. Track two, Finger style electric bass. There is a bass uh, that is a software instrument track. And that's got a four bar region on it track three src6 this is a track stack with my left and right guitar so if i go down track four left src6 csx that's the left guitar track track five right src6 csx and the right guitar track and these all have four bar regions on them so normally when you want to repeat regions you can press command r to repeat a region and like i said right now this track has a region that starts at bar one and and five bars one beat one division one tick at bar five yeah, i just press control hand and control home one bar one beat one division one tick confirms that it starts at bar one so it's a four bar region if you press command r that will repeat the region and give you a new region on the track so now if i do control n nine bars one beat one division one tick you see the region ends at bar nine five bars one beat one division one tick and starts at bar five if i hit the left arrow one bar one beat one division one tick that region starts at bar one five bars one beat one division one tick and ends at bar five when i hit control n you hear that being spoken so if i press the right arrow nine bars one beat one division one tick five bars one beat one division one tick got the region that ends at bar nine and starts at bar five selected there again i'm gonna go ahead and delete selection deleted that region now Another option you have, make sure I got that. One bar one beat, five bars one, one bar one beat, one division one tick. All right. So another option you have is if you press command shift R, it will ask you how many times you want to repeat the region. Now in repeat region slash cell slash events window. One content selected at a text. And now I can just type in something like three. Three. And hit return. Now in 22 extending regions, logics, 22 extending regions, tracks window, track five, right, SRC, 60, SX group. And now if I press control N. 17 bars one beat one division one tick. See this now ends at bar 17 if I press control home. 13 bars one beat one division one tick. And it says it starts at bar 13, but that's because there are now three extra regions on this track. One from five to nine, one from bar nine to 13, and one from 13 to 17. And if I hit the left arrow, control home. Nine bars one beat one division one tick. 13 bars one beat one division one tick. Control N, you see that one starts at nine, ends at 13, left arrow again. Control home. Five bars one beat one division one tick. That one starts at bar five. Nine bars one beat one division one tick. And control N tells me ends at bar nine. And left there one more time. One bar one beat one division one tick. Five bars one beat one division one bar one. We added three additional regions to that track. Now that's using command R and command shift R. However, now there is a new key command added at some point in the logic 10.7 era and it lets you change the region length. And now this will apply to the region length or the note length if it's an event or the cell length if you are in live loops. Now, a Logic Band member had pointed out this key command to me, and I went looking and discovered that there's a few new key commands regarding region length that got added sometime recently. I mapped some key commands to them, and there is a link to the Logic Keyboard Ninja key commands file. You want to grab the latest version as of this tutorial in order to take advantage of these key commands. So the first one we're going to look at is command shift L and that just brings up a dialog box and let you type in how long you want this region to be. So right now we're back to the, the original end for the region. It starts at bar one and ends up bar five. Five bars, one beat, one division, one tick. One bar, one beat, one division, one tick. As you can see there when I press control N and then control home. So if I press command shift L, this is similar to command shift R. It's going to ask me how much longer do I want to make this region twice as long, three times as long etc. So if I press command shift L. Change region slash cell slash event land window. And I'm just gonna hit number four and hit return. One bar one beat one division one tick. And now if I do control N. 17 bars one beat one division one tick. And one bar one beat one division one tick. Control home. Now the nice thing about this is unlike repeating regions, this is just one long region. If I press the right arrow, you don't hear anything. Press the left arrow. 17 bars, one beat, one division, one, one bar, one beat, one division, one tick. Press the left arrow. 
So you see there's only one region on this track. When I press control, home, and end, after pressing left or right arrow, it doesn't speak anything other than bar one to bar 17. So there is only one region on this track. That's the nice part about doing this is you can now just tell it how long you want the region to be and it will make a region that long while repeating all the audio. I'll go ahead and play this from bar one. Remember both the left and right guitars were originally four bars long. So when the left guitar drops out, that's where the recording originally ended, but you'll now hear that the right guitar keeps going. So one bar one beat one division one tick. Let's go ahead and play this. And bar one you see that goes all the way up to bar 17. Now, let's say you want to make this half as long. 17 bars, one bar, one beat, one to Make sure I got that region selected. Now I'm going to press command shift L. Change region slash cell slash event length, window. And okay, default, bu cancel, button, four, combo box. You see this combo box has four because that's the amount I typed in earlier. But if I view space on this. Five, text, seven of twelve, six, text, eight of twelve. You see this brings up a pop-up button where you can actually choose all the way Seven, up eight, to 16. 16 times as long as it was originally. Now, if you want to do more than 16, you can just type it in like I did for you can type in something like 20 and that will still work. But if you want to say, make it half as long, 12, I'm going eight, to go the other way here, just up arrow. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, zero point five. We have 0 0.5, 0 0.333, 0 0.333, 0 0.25, 0 0.25. That will be a quarter as long. And so I'm going to go 0 .3, 0 0.5 to half as long. Select 0 0.5. Selection deleted. Now, if I do control N. Nine bars, one beat, one division, one tick. You see that ends at bar nine. One bar, one beat, one division, one tick. Starts at bar one. So that makes the region half as long. So if you want to do half as long, you just want to click on the pop-up button and select 0.5. You can try typing them in, but I find that I have better luck just selecting them from the pop-up button. But if you're just trying to type in a whole number, like you want to make it four times longer, 25 times longer, just press Command-Shift-L, type in a number, hit return, and you're good to go. All right, so as I said, they are a couple other key commands. There's a key command now also to just double a region length and half the region length. So let's go up to the left guitar track. Track four left SRC six CSX. And remember this one ends at bar five. Five bars one beat one division one tick. And one bar one beat one division one tick. at bar one. But we want this one to go out to bar nine, just like the right guitar track does. So if I play this right now. See, the right guitar track keeps going all the way out to bar nine, but the left guitar does not. One bar, so, one beat, one division, one tick. Once again, left guitar. Five bars, one beat, one division, one tick. Ends at bar five, right? But if we press Control Command L, that's the key command to double the region length. It will now go out to bar nine. Press Command Control L. Four beats, two. One bar, one beat, one division, one tick. And now if I press Control N to see where this ends. Nine bars, one beat, one division, one tick. See that ends at bar nine. One bar, one beat, one division, one tick. And starts at bar one. So if I play this. One bar, one beat. And there you have it. So. If you want to half the region, it's going to be Control Option Command L. Uh, if you don't have your voiceover set to use caps lock only, you're going to have to do the voiceover tab pass through before you can do this key command. And if that voiceover pass through is still not working in Logic, then you're just going to have to turn voiceover off, do the key command, and then turn voiceover back on. But I have voiceover set to only use caps lock. So if I press Control Option Command L, selection deleted. Now if I press Control N, five bars one beat one division one tick. See the region goes back to ending at bar five. One bar one beat one division one tick. And starting at bar one. And if I press Control Command L, four beats two. One bar one beat one division it one tick. It will double the region. Nine bars one beat one division one tick. And it will end at bar nine. Now just to show you, this isn't just an audio track. So I'm going to go up to the bass track. Track three S. Track two Fincher style electric bass. The bass track Toggle here. Nine bar, one bar, one beat, one division, one. 
one bar. All right. And you see that and five bars one beat one division one tick at bar five. One bar one beat one division one tick. Starts at bar one. Same deal if I do control command L. Nine bars one beat one division one now tick. Ends at bar nine. One bar one beat one division. And starts at bar one. Toggle track one heavy. I'll go up to this drummer track. And now the thing you need to be aware of, if you're not familiar with drummer tracks, drummer tracks will put in a fill wherever the region ends. So like right now, if I play this Toggle channel strips for you, I'm going to go to bar four. Two, three bars, one, four bars, one beat, one division, so one tick. Just kind of hear what happens here. Four so bars. you hear there's a little bit of a fill there right into bar five, right? All right. Five bars. But look what happened. I'm going to shorten this region. So I'm going to do control option command L. Selection deleted. And now this drummer region ends at bar five. Five bars, one beat, one division, one, one bar, one beat, one division, one tick. Let's play this. So you one see bar. it puts in a completely different fill and I go to Two bar bars, three, four bars, one beat, bar one division. Four for you here. So it puts in a completely different fill. So while these key commands do work with drum and tracks, I'll do command shift L. Now in change region slash L slash event length window. Zero selection two replace. To make two. it twice as long. Now in twenty two. And we'll see this end. Nine bars one beat one division one tick. Nine, which is where it ended originally. One bar one beat one division one tick. Starts at bar one, but now if I go to bar two, four, four bars one beat one four, division. you're gonna see it's doing something different. Because. Because the region continues, you don't get to a fill until the end at bar nine. I'm gonna go to bar eight. Bars one beat one division one tick. Eight bars one. You see, you have your fill there at bar nine. One bar one beat one. And now, if I toggle channel strip solo that and play this. That's pretty much it. So Command Shift L will let you type in a number to set how much longer than the original length you want the region to be. And you can also view space on the pop-up button and choose like 0.5 or 0.25 or 0.333 if you want to make it shorter. And Command Control L will double the length and Control Option Command L will make it half as long as it was originally so if you want to make something half as long instead of pressing command shift l and then vo space and select in point five you can just press control option command l to make the region half as long and if you want to double the region that's all you want to do you can just press command control l but if you say you want to make the region four times longer or 25 times longer you can press command shift l and type in a value and hit return and then the region will be that much longer. So the nice part, like I said, instead of using the repeat options is that when you use these region length options, it actually just keeps it as one long region. Whereas when you use the repeat options, as I showed you in the beginning, you end up with multiple regions on the track. So both are valid ways of working. It's just a matter of which way you prefer. Thank you for checking out this tutorial. Hope you found that useful and helpful. If you got any tips you'd love to share with the community, please feel free to leave those in the comments below. Remember to like, share, and subscribe both to the YouTube channel and to the email list found at logic.band. That way you can get a free getting started with Logic course and I can keep you up to date on everything going on over here at logic.band. If you'd love to go deeper on any of these topics or anything relating to Logic, VoiceOver, macOS, or GarageBand, then book yourself some one-on-one -on -one training by visiting logic.band slash training. Want to support what's going on here at logic.band? Then visit logic.band slash support where you can make a one-time or subscribe to make an ongoing Patreon-style donation. Links to all of these plus supplemental tutorials and blog posts can be found in the description below. And as always, until next time, happy recording.